All right, guys, welcome to episode 133 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me. Got the dogs put up. You already know how the fuck we're rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the like button. Go down in the fucking comment section. Let us know if we're good, if we're not, if we're trash, if you like us, if you love us, if you hate us, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself a little merch. You know what I mean? Go down the fucking Teespring, get yourself a little merch. And uh, yeah, man, like your blunt, like your J-Pack, your bone pack, your bowl, get your edibles, your dab rigs, whatever the fuck it is that you're rocking with, man. Whatever. It's a beautiful Thursday. We're back. We love you. How we feeling today, Johnny Boy? How we're we chilling. Feeling? We're chilling. It's fucking Thirsty Thursdays. You know thirsty how it is. Thirsty Thursdays. So, so if y'all are alcoholics too, go ahead and pop that fucking bottle of wine. Pop that cork. And round of applause to you. If all right. If it's an early morning, go ahead and drink that cup of coffee because I'm a hey, coffee drinker. Hey, go ahead and drink that mimosa, the yeah. orange juice. Yeah, drink you know the mimosa saying? with some fucking little vodka. Champagne, little champagne, little orange juice. Yep. Get you right in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Bring and you back not, to life. If not, drink a cup of coffee. Do a, do a fucking double espresso on me. Double espresso <laughs> on my fucking sack. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Nah, bro, but no, nah, I need I need caffeine. You know, I fucked up. I told you guys I quit. My dog was back in like two days. He nah. didn't let y'all know, and I'm not saying nothing because I nah, ain't a snitch. No, no, no. I'm saying, but nah, I'm back on. I'm back on it. You know what I mean? I couldn't quit. At least I'm honest. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all. Yeah, nah, facts, bro. Yeah. It's like you just gotta be like, fuck it, nigga. This is what I like. Yeah, this is what I do. It's like a fucking crackhead trying to tell you, yo, this is what I do. <laughs> nah, 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 it ain't that crazy. Nah, nah, nah. It ain't that crazy. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. It's crazy, man. I like the bangs, bro. That's what I. I don't like the coffee, but I like the bangs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> when I, I, it's weird because like whenever I hear that, I I heard of I like to bang, and then like. Yo, my dog Toby almost realigned this nigga's jawline yeah. the day he looked over and said, yo, Toby, you, you want to bang? Toby was like, what? What the fuck did you just say to me, bro? My dog was about to get fucking yeah. choked into oblivion. I swear to he God. He was about to wrestle you to death. Yeah. He's like, what, what did you just say to me? I was like, bro, do you want bangs? Do you no. want to bang? And then I fucking gave him the fucking like, drink. Oh, and he, oh. <laughs> Fuck out of here, What the fuck type of friend do you think I am? Bitch, we're in front of the fucking gym. I'm about to fucking, <laughs> I'm about to fucking give you an energy drink. You want to bang right before the gym? Yeah, there's a gas station right around the corner. Let's fucking go get a fucking bang, all right? Oh man, that's you know that, fucking. You know somebody hilarious. drove into the fucking gas station. I don't know. If, I, I'm pretty sure that happens everywhere. Bro, that shit happens a lot. Niggas be drunk, <laughs> trying to pull up to get more beer. <laughs> It happens. Let me pull That's why it they up. put those fucking poles in front of them shits. Oh, Yo, there's some liquor stores. True. Nah, that ass. There's some liquor stores. You look at them, all the poles are bad. Niggas just be boom, crashing into that mall. And they'll sell them that shit and let them fucking go crash at their house. That's crazy Fuck to it. me. I can't imagine there driving was a, into a... <laughs> nah, yeah. I've seen it. There was a neighbor that I, we woke up, bro, when we were kids, and uh, fucking Kenny, the uh, fucking Mr. Kenny, bro. That nigga had, a, like, mad dogs. He was a redneck. He was cool as fuck, but he used to get drunk. And that nigga fucking plowed into, like, his palm tree and just, like, left the truck there. That shit was like this on the palm tree, bro, and he just, like, got out and went inside. And we're, like, looking at this shit in the morning. We're like, yo, Kenny got fucked up last night, <laughs> Like he crashed into that shit and just said, fuck it, it's parked. Damn. Bro. Some people be driving like that, man. Don't do that. That's kids. why they Don't made do that shit, but that's yeah. why they made drive through fucking liquor stores. Cause yeah. they're like, yo, I'm tired of waiting. Yo, I'm tired of you crashing into my fucking door. <laughs> just stay in your car. Don't even get out. Don't get out. In. We'll throw the bottle into the back seat. <laughs> Yo, just charge me later. You know, in Puerto Rico, it's crazy because my fucking grandma and my uncle, they go to the fucking supermarket right next to the fucking house and they'll be like, oh, yeah, just add it to the tab. Yeah, bro, no, it's different. It's different. I mean, nigga, they see you every day. Yeah. So it's like, yo, all right, you owe me $5 tomorrow, bring it. That's it's it. Big, it's not a big fucking deal. It's <laughs> different. But it's different because they're, Nigga, it's people you've been dealing with your whole life. You know yeah. their parents. Their parents know you. Yeah, you know their fucking aw. whole family. <laughs> They've fucking been together for 30 years. Yo, oh, yo, fuck. Yo, I don't yo, have the money today. Tomorrow, I got you. All right, don't worry about it. Take the fucking coffee, too. They, they, know, <laughs> they know you fucking smoke crack. You know what I mean? They know that you pay the fucking dues, all right? That's nah, it. Facts, bro. But now, nah, listen, man. Something that I wanted to give a round of applause to was some of the shows that we grew up when we were fucking youngins. They made our lives so toxic, man. Shout out to Jay. Jerry Springer in, in specific, man. I know some people. You remember uh, Carlos Armador and his sister? Uh, yes, Carlos. They were on Jerry Springer, bro. Wait, the one the one that moved to Cali? Yeah. The guy that's in the army. Shout out to you, Carlos. Yeah, I know. I, Carlos yeah. Armador, bro. Him and his sister. I forget her name, bro. But yeah. they were on Jerry Springer, bro. 
Okay. They really were. But yeah, bro, it's all fake. It's all like acting and shit oh. like that. But it's all like it's nigga. They were on shows. Jerry Springer. When you're a kid, you don't know that, bro. I used to watch Jerry Springer and be like, oh my gosh, she cheated on him with his grandpa. What the fuck? And they then the grandpa have, comes must. out, he's like, I love her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Yeah, I love you, grandpa. The guy's fucking crying trying is to whip his grandpa's ass. None of it is real. None of it. It's all acting, bro. I feel like some of it was real though. When you're a kid, you think so. Yeah, I was like, man, this is crazy. Like, you know what? This is this is okay. You know what? Whatever they're doing that's toxic, it makes it okay then. I it think Maury, Maury's halfway real. Because them niggas be doing backflips on stage when they find out they're Shit. not the fuck. Fucking Maury, bro. I want a girl to chase me just like the fucking Yo, no, camera, listen, camera no. person that runs out the door with the girl. Like, oh, you're pregnant. Oh, you're the mom. That nigga has stamina. You're the dad. <laughs> yeah, stamina, bro. Remember, bro, he was doing this shit since back in the day, bro, and them cameras ain't fucking, yeah. like, they're heavy as fuck back in the day. Niggas, like, fucking chasing you down the whole hallway and shit. What the fuck? Throughout the whole door, and then and then they come back, which is crazy. They fucking talk to him, like, hey, listen. This I is, can't believe they're it. Like, they're like, this is really my kid? Yeah, yeah. You feel it. bad for the girls that, like, found out that they weren't the father, and now they don't know who the father is? You feel bad for uh, them? I don't what? feel bad for them. Maybe you shouldn't just, have been a fucking hoe. I look at it as a second chance in life. If you're for the father, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But what but, if it's? But but then again, like you now feel it's, bad for the mom. Well, though. now I don't feel bad because it's not real, and I'm just like fuck, you know. It's like, but back in the day, I did. I was like, man, damn, you know, wow, she's really crying. You know, I thought she really wanted a family. And yeah, but you don't know like, who the father is. <laughs> yeah. It could be five niggas, and you don't know who it is. Nah, I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel bad for them type of nah, girls. Nah, I don't. I don't feel bad for them, but. That's a rough situation, and man, it's a good job though to sit there and hey. just tell, "Hey, this is my show. I'm gonna tell you what's going on." Round of applause, man. Round maybe of applause one out Springer. of the ten, maybe one out of the ten stories were real. Maybe one. Yeah, I They're think like, they were based know? on real stories that yeah. just weren't real. Like it was actors and shit. They get paid like a thousand dollars for you know to be on the show and shit. And they record in a weird area. It's like fucking Connecticut or some shit. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. It. And you know what? Fuck Connecticut. <laughs> This I'm guy, bro, I'm has said against Connecticut forever. Yo, yo, shut for up. fucking ever. <laughs> but listen, shout out, round of applause to the people that need more than one fan to sleep with. All right? I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Winter or not, rain, sleet, hail, or snow. I need two fans. I need two fans. I need one for my sack and one for my back. <laughs> All right? <laughs> <Fuck off. laughs> My dog be flipping over every three hours, so he had a fucking three reverse. hours, bitch. Every hour on the <laughs> fucking dot, I'm flipping to the other side. Yo, th- I'm gonna tell you what, this motherfucker be sleeping through fucking hell, storm, fucking whatever the fuck. Hey, listen, you're a deep sleeper, bitch. As long as I don't hear my dog, <laughs> if I hear my dog even growl, I'm up with my pistol. Yeah, I that's swear to God. yeah, that's another. Yeah. I swear. Yeah, that's but definitely. besides that, yeah. I'm cooling, bro. Uh, yeah. the, ho- the other half of the house could have burnt down, bro. I'm alright. I'll wake up and be like, damn, bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? Nah, there's some deep sleepers. Like, Kevin, Kevin's a deep sleeper too, my brother. Like, yeah, I be, bro. like I'm like, bro, you didn't hear that? I was fucking going off on this bitch on the phone. You didn't hear me? Yeah, nah. And he's like, This house has good insulation, though, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I've noticed that. Like, you don't hear too much shit from outside in it's, here. Like, yeah. It's, it's, it, the house is insulated really well. Yeah. It is for an older house. You can tell that they upgraded it, whatever. Yeah, at some point. Yeah. But this house was built like the 60s. At man. least we don't have a pink tub. Imagine the stories. If these walls could talk, guys, from the 60s. The fucking LSD trips these walls saw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if walls could talk. No, bro. If walls could fucking talk. Nah, but, but tell nah, you what, listen, man. I ain't going to talk. Uh, look, look, man. I'm going to let you talk. Look, man. Round of applause. This is what I'm going to start with right now. Round of applause to Kyrie Irving, man. For laying his fucking nuts hang and standing his ground and telling the NBA, hey, man, my body, my choice. All right. He said, look, man, I don't care how much money y'all offer me. I don't care how much money I'm losing next season. I'll retire before I take that vaccine. Round of applause again. Round of applause again to Kyrie well, Irving. Salute. That takes nuts, bro. A salute to y'all. That takes nuts. Because I'm with you, bro. Like, yeah, my like, body, my choice. Like, what's going on, bro? Like, Y'all can't force nothing in my mm-hmm. body, bro. Nothing in my body. I don't care if y'all want to tell me like, oh, it's going to fucking give you, it's it's the fountain of youth. We're going to give you fucking health for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't, if I don't trust it, bro, you can't make me take something that I I'm not doing. Take. It. Yeah, yeah. I agree with him. I agree with him, man. Like it's, you're already making millions of dollars. Up. You're already rich, my friend. And even if you're not, go do something else. 
Yeah. Go actually fucking chase your dream now. Go fucking be the carpenter that you actually wanted to be or whatever the fuck it is that your yeah. gift is. Because obviously it's not basketball. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you're really good, though. You know what I mean? Nah, Kyrie, yeah, Kyrie, Kyrie Irving, is, it, that yeah. is his gift. But yeah. it's like, bro, at this point, like, you're up. But even if you're not, bro, like, a regular person, like, don't let this shit scare you into, like, oh, I have to take something I don't trust because I'll thing, lose my job. You know, like. People be forgetting that they pick up these guys from the hood. Like, most of these guys are hood-ass motherfuckers that yeah, play in the bro. NBA. Like, let's just Facts. keep it a buck. Facts. Like, let's just keep it a buck. You know what I mean? Like, they're not no regular fucking... Yeah, we got some suburban kids. You know what I mean? We got a lot of those, too. You know what I mean? We got some kids that went to college, and they play ball. They, all they went played to at Duke. You know, yeah. There's all hood niggas that go to... Like, people exactly. act like, yeah. just because you're a hood nigga, you're not smart and can't get to... There's some exactly. of the smartest motherfuckers that graduate. They just don't give a fuck. But guess what? You know what I mean? He's smart enough to know, like, yo, bro, like... I'm a regular dude, just like everybody else. I just play basketball and I get paid millions of dollars. Like, bro, you already paid me my contract. I'm getting that money regardless. Yeah, for this you know, last that's year. Like, that's you'll like, get the contract for the last year and yeah. then they'll let you go. But it's like, nigga, just, like, just don't let nobody force you to do something that you don't want to do, bro. If you don't trust it, you don't trust it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's one thing that I, like, I believe in. Stand firm on what you believe in. Stand mm-hmm. firm on what you stand on, bro. And, don't let nobody fucking trick you or make you do some shit you don't want to do. Don't let them scare you into doing some shit you don't want to do. Because fear is the biggest motivator behind this shit. I wonder if they're doing that shit with college, too. Because I heard college I doubt it because you don't get paid. No, no, no. They're getting paid now. College players get paid? Yes. Hey, man, round of applause to them. Get, uh, finally. They changed it. Yeah. Finally, bro. Because yeah. they make millions yeah. of dollars off these kids, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. They college, really do. Yeah. College really players do. get paid, which is, is a pretty new. Like, uh, I never understood that. There's uh, your coach is making a hundred million dollars a year because y'all won two fucking national championships, but you're not getting paid shit. No, nah, but they're like that's crazy. But low key, they were getting paid. Like there was some, there was a lot of kids low key getting paid. Yeah, but like, it was like against offered, the rules. Like, yeah, exactly. And it was we, against yep, the rules, and yep. now it's not. So God bless them, yep. bro, because that's fucked up. Till it's like, damn, I, y'all ain't paying me. You're making millions of dollars <laughs> off my name and my hard work and my fucking sweat equity. But I can't, I can't even go get what? paid on the side. If I don't get paid, if I don't make it to the NFL, then I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, like, making it. I'm not feeding my family. Like, that's what it is. You're all using my name. And if I don't get picked, yeah. I'm not like the best. You made millions of dollars and I didn't get shit. Yeah. Crazy. It's exactly. a meat market, though, bro. And that's what a lot of guys realize. Like, they have this dream of getting to the NBA. And then they realize, like, they were like, oh, I want to play for this team. I'll be loyal to this team. And then the team ain't loyal to you, bro. The team is like, oh, well, you know. We think we got, you know, our best years out of you. And unfortunately, we're bringing in this other guy and we're going to trade you over here with this other guy. And you're like, damn, dog. Like, I, I gave you all fucking eight years of my life, dog. Like, really playing and trying hard. <laughs> oh, well, sorry, bro. Like, it's just business. You know what I'm saying? And it's fucked up. But that's how the business goes. That's just, how that shit is. Just like business, bro. And that's a good, that's a good fucking, that's yeah, a good bro. fucking way to get into fucking uh, what the fuck is going on with fucking uh, Dave Chappelle. And his business yeah, and, and the way that he rocks. Yeah, but f- before we get to Dave Chappelle, bro, we the don't. NBA shit, bro. That's a oh, big business, right? Oh, we're talking... Okay, and okay, And the okay, NBA okay. shit, bro, like, it's crazy. They arrested 18 players, bro, in a fucking fraud, healthcare <laughs> fraud scheme yeah. in the NBA. 18 X players they, charged in a $4 million healthcare fraud scheme, bro. Are they are they like they, they, were, they were doing that during like while they were playing or are they no, like they I think some are active but I think most of them are retired. But Damn. regardless it's like they that's get, big man they're they were like, talking about oh that. we still this foundations for the NBA but like it's not it's from a it's for us <laughs> you know for me and my four other buddies Yeah that, we're, we're going to go get six root we used, we used to be in the NBA but not anymore. Hey listen man look bro that just goes to show, man, a lot of players weren't smart with their money. You know what I'm saying? It just comes down to being smart with your money. Don't go blow it, bro. Invest it. There's plenty of guys like like people talk shit about, about Dirk. But Lil Dirk is smart as fuck. That nigga owns a trucking company. That's literally what this country runs on, bro. Semi-trucks. That's smart. He can stop rap- rapping today, nigga. He's still going to make hella bread with that trucking company. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. hella bread. Yeah. Because if he's paying each person 60000 to 100000 a year, imagine what he's making off of them. You're making double that, triple that off of them per truck. So you may, you might be making a quarter million per truck, and you got 10 trucks. And yeah, who knows what you got on that truck? No, nah, it's just a regular <laughs> trucking business. Like, 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 I'm, I'm bringing some cabbage. 
<laughs> Bring in some cabbage from fucking out west. Yeah, right? I got some carrots. I got some onions. <laughs> I got some mangoes. I got some cabbage and some motherfucking reefer. What I got do you some, mean? I got some mangoes. <laughs> I got reef it too. Don't forget about it. All right? No, here. but yeah, bro. To me, it's just crazy, bro. It says a lot about like a lot of these players, bro, end up blowing their fucking money. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them will tell you that. Like they go into the NBA without no type of guidance. Nobody telling them how to do this, how to do that, how much taxes you really have to pay, which is like 53%. So you think you're getting a million dollars, but after the million, you're only making like 400, 470,000. You know what I'm saying? You go spend a million, though, thinking you have a million. Now, when your taxes come back, you owe $700,000, $600,000. Like, <laughs> Nigga, I had a million. No, you didn't, bitch. <laughs> you had 400000 and you blew it before that shit even cleared. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's fucking You got to be rough. smart with your money, man. But, hey, round of applause to them for even attempting that shit. <laughs> Yo, That's they a tried four it. million dollar lift. If it's too good to be true, then it's too good. Listen, we did the math, bro. We did the math between eighteen motherfuckers. That's a two hundred twenty thousand dollar lick. With two hundred twenty k, you could do a lot of different things. All right, but y'all got fucked, so that sucks. You're probably gonna have to spend that on a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Real people talk. Be, people man. be forgetting lawyers. Lawyers need that cut. Lawyers need that motherfucking goo up, nigga. They ain't talking to you more than once for free. I'll talk to you once for free. <laughs> no, for real, be like, yo, I'm be like, yo, next time it's 150 an hour, my boy. <laughs> I'm not your friend. No, nah, I don't give a fuck about your life like that, bro. You're just hiring me. Damn, bro. To represent you in the court of law. Lawyers are rough, bro. <laughs> it's like fucking Breaking Bad. Yeah, bro. I need to finish that shit. That shit's good though. I ain't gonna flex. He put bro, me on that. Yo, man. if y'all haven't watched Breaking Bad, y'all tripping. This is a good fucking show, man. Nah, it's, it's a, a show. great show. It's a good show. It's not a good show. It's a good show. It's bro. great. It's good for you. Well, it's great for me. I'm yeah, telling you bro. now. It's, yo, it's a good show, bro. Y'all, hey, shout out to the people that watch Breaking Bad, bro. Because I watched that shit like three times. I ain't gonna fuck you. Yeah, it's like Ozark. Ozark miss, is really and good Ozark too, too bro. I watched, I watched Ozark like twice. Yeah, but I watched that shit Did season three come out? Not yet. They've been fucking still. Yeah, Fuck. I'd be paying for Netflix for no reason. Just to watch that. No cap. <laughs> They're waiting for it to drop. Fact. But now listen, man. It's crazy, right? Because cancel culture has been running rampant, bro. And we've talked about this a hundred times on here. But, you know what I'm saying? They try to cancel our dog, Dave Chappelle, bro. And you just can't cancel comedy, dog. I mean, they are. So already- round of applause, bro. <laughs> round of applause to that. You can't cancel comedy, dog. You know what I mean? Like, dog, that's what comics do. No, for real. Like, people want to fucking be equal. Let's talk about that. People want to be equal. Everybody wants to be equal until it's time to be equal. Now, when everybody gets the jokes, like, certain groups want to be offended. Like, nah, bro. If you want to be equal, everybody gets equally made fun of. Period. That is true. You can't just be like, oh, don't talk about this. Don't talk about that. It's like, nah, bro. You... it's my right as a fucking human being to have my opinion. You can't cancel... You You can't cancel comedy. Like comedy was Facts. comedy was a like a free space of being you and being able to what you know express it, yourself exactly and make people laugh. What the fuck? And the thing is, like, you can't go into a com- like a lot of comics say like when you go to their show, bro, leave your fucking feelings at the door. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not about feelings at a comedy show. Now. It's about fucking laughing. If you're gonna go there and get your feelings hurt, don't go. If you're a sensitive person and you know that certain things offend you, don't go because they might pick you out of the whole fucking crowd and make fun of you. That's part of a fucking comedy show, bro. Yeah. Like, if you're not willing to deal with that, bro, don't, don't go. go. Don't go. Like, it's really, like, I, I feel bad for comics, man. I really fucking do, bro. I feel bad for them, bro, because it's like, they're getting judged upon their craft now. Like, their craft is offensive and this and that. It's like, bro, go back to some of the funniest motherfuckers in stand-up history, bro. They were offensive. Yeah. But it's fucking hilarious, bro. It, like, yeah, these it, niggas are funny, bro. There's a movie about that. I forgot which one it was, but it was with uh, Eddie Murphy, and he was fat. He was the big guy, and then he like he took some medicine to make him skinny again. I forgot which I one. I know it which was. one you're talking. I forget. But the name. he he was at he was at fucking a, a, a like it was like a stand up comedy show, and he was he took a date, and the guy started fucking bragging on him, bragging on him. Yeah. Like making like making him feel like piece Bro. of shit. And she felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> at, the, at, the, at, the, at the at the end of the night, she was like, "Man, I'm sorry," because she re- like he really got on his ass. Yeah. Like bad as fuck. Nah, you can't listen, man. You can't you and, can't be offended at everything, especially not comedy. Bro. But it's because he was big. He's yeah, a big like dude. you're a big like, guy, yeah. man. You might get fucking picked out of the crowd. Yeah. Like listen, bro. It it's part of life, man. And 
I feel like part of the reason why, like, the older folks fucking say that we're so soft. These new generations are so soft. Bro, y'all raised us to be this way. And the new the people under us. Because I feel like the 90s generation, for real, for real, y'all go down in the comments if y'all agree with this. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like the 90s generation really was that last generation to where we're not as sensitive. They want to act like we are, but a lot of us 90s babies aren't as sensitive as people fucking make us out to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, dead ass. Like, but these newer generations under us, it's like, bro, y'all fucking cry about everything, nigga. It's yeah. life. It's life. Go work. Go fucking go through it. Go you're be gonna, broke for a gonna, couple weeks. Go be, fucking figure it out. You're going to get played. You're going to be fucking, you're going to be gonna the gonna player. Bitches are going to cheat on you. <laughs> you're going to cheat on bitches. Yeah. Like, you're going to grow up. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's put life out like this, that a simple fucking quote, right? You're going to shit on people and shit, and people are going to shit on you. It goes both ways. So you're going to be shitted on regardless. That's a fact. So you got to yep. think of it like that. So don't think like your shit don't stink because you're going to get shitted on. I promise you. You got to stay Every, humble, man. It's yeah. good to be confident, but you got to stay humble at the same time and understand that everything that goes up must come down. You know what I'm saying? And, whatever, and whatever comes down, you just take that and turn it into motivation to make yeah. you better. If you can't do that, I don't know what to tell you. Listen, man, if you don't turn a loss into a lesson, I don't know what to tell you. Because that's what you do. You take a loss and you turn it into a lesson. You're like, yo, that's what not to do. Fuck, I fucked up. I'm not going to do that again. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just turn that loss into a lesson. Yep. But if you're too much of a close-minded individual to look at it like a lesson and it's always a loss, and it, like, then it's not, you're not letting it mold you. You're not letting it shape you. You know what I mean? But listen, man. Changing subjects right quick. Changing gears, guys. Round of applause to the baby, man. We got. I gotta bring this up, bro. Yeah, they were trying to cancel him too. We're bringing. We're yeah, going back to we're the cancel culture. Cancel thing. culture, yeah. man. Cancel culture, bro. It's like they try to cancel the baby for his comments on stage. And honestly, bro, like it's crazy how you can't even have freedom of speech. You might not agree with it. Like I didn't necessarily agree with what he said. But am I going to sit here and fucking be like, oh, fucking stop his money, Maybe stop I his did. shows? Maybe I Maybe did. Maybe I did. And you know what I'm saying? That's, that's everybody's individual Who cares? right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's everybody's individual that's, right. That's what we're that's getting into. That's part of what we're, yeah, what we're that's talking the main about. Point. Like, it's his right to think that way. It's your right to think otherwise or agree with him. Like, yeah. It, it is what it is. Democratic Republican. You're not going to fucking kill him, right? Because he's a Republican, right? Are you going to kill him because he's a Democrat? No, he's still my fucking buddy. I grew up with him. He believes this Everybody way. Everybody thinks differently. Who gives man. a fuck? Everybody's different, man. But shout out to the baby for saying fuck the festival, bro, and going out and performing for the royal family in yeah. Dubai, man. He performed for the royal family in Dubai. Worth 18 billion. <laughs> Yo, that, Come on, bro. Those makes, are the friends makes, you want to make. That makes me blow every fucking booger out of my fucking nostril. But you know what it lets me know? <laughs> you know what it lets me know? Their ideologies are aligned with the babies. Yeah, they don't believe in a lot of shit. That yeah, they're like, no, nah, fuck that. This guy's right. Like, <laughs> maybe as a guy, you shouldn't be sucking dick in a parking lot. Yeah. That's just my belief. Maybe you shouldn't. That's my belief. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody's allowed to believe what the fuck they want to believe, bro. That's very disturbing. I almost threw Yeah, up. bro. It's like, listen, man. Like, if Ugh. that's what you're into, cool, bro. But it's like, look, man. Have some respect for yourself. Whether you're a fucking man or a woman, bro, have some fucking respect for yourself, bro. Dead ass. Dead the fuck ass. Like, the fuck, man? Have some fucking respect, motherfuckers. That's just how that shit go, man. But everybody's different. That's what we're trying to get. And if yeah. you want to do whatever the fuck you want to do, then do it. Do yeah, it. Yeah, facts. But bro. don't fucking sit here and judge me thinking it's wrong. Yeah, don't put me on a fucking chopping block. Yeah. Like, nigga, like, that's what I believe. I let you live your life. Let me live mine, my nigga. You know what I'm that's saying? it. As long as they don't get physical and they don't, you know what I'm saying? If like I wanna, that's different. Yeah. If I want to sit here and smoke weed, I'm gonna sit here and smoke weed. Yeah. If facts. you wanna, if you wanna fucking sit here and smoke crack, be a cracker. Yeah, you shouldn't. Cause you but, call everybody calls us a pothead. Yeah. So why can't you be a cracker? Listen, your body, your choice. Your body, your choice goes right back to that thing, bro. And you know what's crazy? I feel like they should, they should legalize all drugs. Because there's places that literally do it. Like, yeah, there's you clinics you could go walk into. They give you a clean syringe. You could do your dope there. And they have people on standby in case you overdose, in case anything happens. You could do your cocaine. You could do all that shit's legal. And they have the lowest crime rate in the world. You see what I'm saying? A lot of our prisons and crime rate is from dr the, dr the war on drugs, bro. Yeah. Which is an unwinnable war. People need to realize, like... 
You're not going to make it legal by making it legal. And you got to realize people are going to do what the fuck they want to do and they want to do drugs. Or you're not going to be illegal. I mean, I think I said the opposite. I don't fucking know. But you guys get my point. It's like, yo, like, if you guys try to stop it, the more people are going to do it. It's just like a fucking kid. You're like, oh, don't press that fucking button. Yeah. What do you think the fucking kid's going to fucking do? Yeah, it adds to the taboo, exactly. It adds to the curiosity. Yeah. When you're telling everybody, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I wasn't thinking about it in the first place. Exactly. You know, when the kids were like, when they taught us fucking weed and all this shit, shit. like, I didn't didn't even know what that was until y'all showed me. Yeah, bro, y'all came to, (laughs) bro, these mothers came, these motherfuckers came to fourth grade, fifth grade with the dare shit. Like, Talking to us about drugs at fourth and fifth grade. I didn't grade. know what the fuck that Most was. Most kids don't know what the fuck you're talking yeah. about. I didn't know what the fuck they were. I was like, weed. Weed? What the fuck are you talking about? What the about? fuck? Drugs? Like, yeah, I don't, man, those kids are stupid. Some kids don't grow up around that shit, bro. And I feel like it's not up to the school system to, to start teaching them about that shit. Like, it's up to the parent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like if I don't... Like, there was... I remember there was a permission slip, too. That, that, the, that, yeah, I remember you got that? Aside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was surprised no one said no. A lot of people didn't say no. I don't want my kid to watch that shit, bro. They they had a sex uh, sex ed cl- not even class. It was like one day, like a video in middle school for us, bro. And it was the weirdest shit ever, bro. They separated the guys and the girls. Girls go on one side, guys go on one side, and they teach you about sex. sex oh education. yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and then they give you a condom, and I'm yeah. like, bro, like are y'all trying to make us go fuck right now? Like, yeah, that's what it, <laughs> like but that the thing ass, is. Bro. Like, yeah, I get it. Sex education and like, I feel like we can, I feel like there's certain things in life that we learn by ourselves. Oh, your body tells you. Yeah, it's like, like you're like, oh, fuck, like she's hot. Yeah. She's horny, I'm horny. <laughs> My dick's hard. Put Yo, it in your mouth. <laughs> she want to be a cheater. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, fuck it. Guess it all out. Guess it all out, boy. Let it go. Cocaine. No. <laughs> this nigga's stupid, bro. I sound like a Cubano. They try to sound like Scarface. Yeah, yeah. Ah, fuck it. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, but it's true, though, man. Like, they, they literally throw that in our face for us to, to fucking do it. Because we're curious. Yeah, bro. It's just, yeah, facts. There's a lot of shit they throw in kids' faces. Kids are the most impressionable. The only thing that we weren't really fucking, we didn't catch on to that well was uh, going to the Scholastic Fair. You remember that shit? We'll fucking go out. <laughs> we'll get the most stupidest books. I'll get the one that's like, damn. I sound like ass. Do you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but Scholastic <laughs> Fair, bro. I remember, bro. We Remember that shit? The, the book fair? Yeah. That yeah. shit was ass. I used to fucking go there and buy like the fucking gaming, the cheat codes. For like GTA, yeah, and that was it. Yeah, nah, bro. I didn't <laughs> like. I would buy just random shit, bro. Like as a kid, you just want random shit. I don't know. It was, but I always, I go. always got something. I feel good. I always got something and shit, but yeah, nah, bro. That school shit's changed a lot. Like it's changed since we went there. It's a sure. gen- it's, it's a, a whole it's, different thing. It's an agenda. Yeah, it's a whole different you. thing. Bro. Like they little, program each generation in a different way. It's weird. We're like, we're like little rats, you know. And they're all fucking trying the fuck out of us, trying to see, like, yo, like, what does this happen? Like, if we do this, what, what will happen? We're just a fucking experiment. Now, nah, yeah, everything is an experiment. Everything. It's, we're just living in a giant fucking experiment. I don't remember <laughs> the last time they fucking taught us how to fucking clear a checkbook or fucking... Uh, yeah, no. Nah. But ultimately, like, it goes back to the same shit. It's not up to the school system. Yeah. I don't think that's up to the school system. Your parents should be teaching you that. It's higher than that, though. You know what I mean? You know? I don't know. I feel like there's some things that we should just take out, and then we should just put in. There's some things that we don't need in this this world that they're talking about, oh, we need this shit. You got to, you know, standardized tests. You got to learn this shit. You know? Yeah, no, there's a... Yeah, Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of shit that you don't use. There's a lot of shit that's helpful, but it, you don't really use it. Like, you know, like there was some like mechanic classes. You remember wood shop? They took mm, away wood shit shop. like that. You're gonna yeah, you're gonna learn like, how to make like shit. That, you're that, gonna learn how to do shit. That's a dying craft right there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Carpentry, all that shit, dealing with fucking cabinets and doing that's a dying breed. Yeah, because it's all like machine and that made shit's now. Good work, like, bro. You make good money if you know if you know what you're doing. You make good good work. Yeah, and your shit will live on forever. That shit will go down from generation to generation. Yep, like for real, for real. But I'll tell you what, guys. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the like button. Go down in the comments. Let us know if you're rocking or not. Go down in the description. Get yourself some merch. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, share it with a friend. Share it. Share it. Share it with a friend. Like, share, subscribe.